Um, I'd like to come back to to Surimi uh, and and Russia actually, really, because obviously there's there's plans from um, from Russian fishery and I think I think maybe some of the other companies to produce um, Surimi on the new trawlers they're building. Um, the first the first of these uh, Russian fishery trawlers, I think, it will arrive at the end of this year. Um, I think it will start fishing next year, at least for some of next year. Um, and obviously, we're not going to see big volumes of Surimi produced next year, maybe not even the year after, but. Pascal, I mean, what do you think about the kind of, you know, the, the potential of Russia as a sort of significant Surimi, uh, you know, producer in the future? I mean, do you think that it's 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 likely that Russia could be producing sort of similar volumes to the US, you know, in like, you know, five, ten years time? Or is that just, you know, uh, like just, uh, unrealistic? Yes, difficult to answer. I had a question from uh, one of my customers in Russia today. He, he knew I was going to participate with the webinar. We'll talk about it. And he told me, oh, but, uh, Pascal, you know there, there are uh, two or three vessels coming out uh, uh, in, the, in Russia for a new season uh, to 2021, which have uh, Surimi production capability only on board, no fillet production capability. And, uh, I don't know anything about that, but I told him, in my opinion, it's very unlikely. It would be a completely change of, uh, of the way of doing business of uh, Russians who... When you look in the past, okay, the, the, Russia stopped producing Surimi on, on board factory trawlers uh, maybe over 10, 15 years ago. But at that time, they never focused on Surimi. They focused on the fillet block, which is better revenue than Surimi. And, and they would do Surimi, I think, in the last resort. Um, so if, if, if Russia becomes a significant producer of uh, Pollock Surimi, it will be a big change. Uh, maybe one. One reason why it could drive them to do so is that these problems with MSC. Because uh, I see the, the, the demand and the market for high-grade Pollock, uh, Surimi being very strong in the coming year. And uh, uh, if you have vessels which have lost uh, MSC certification, you have a possibility to produce Surimi. Why not target the Japanese market and forget about Europe for a while? I think it would make some, uh, somehow some sense.